Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and this is the first part of a very, very uh, long and in-depth tutorial series on making a head in Blender. So, if you uh, saw my ear modeling tutorial from a while back, I said that I was going to be making a head modeling tutorial next, and I never did it, but I didn't forget. And that's because I really, I really don't like modeling heads in a with uh, reference pictures because it really it seems to take away the creative process because you're just modeling along something and it's a little bit too technical for me I, not in the fact that it's too difficult but it just takes away from the creative process but luckily there's another way to to make heads and that's to sculpt them first and after that you retopologize it and then after that you can apply a normal map with detail for all the details and then you can make a texture and uh, we're gonna be doing all of these things <clears throat> from start to finish I'll show you guys just ahead though uh, because uh, you know um, bodies are fairly simple in a in a way and I'll be making a totally separate tutorial tutorial series for that but this is just solely on uh, sculpting retopologizing uh, detailing and uh, texturing, maybe even uh, a basic rig of a male head or a character head. And uh, so instead of just making a head making tutorial series in part one to maybe even part 30 or 40, I'm just going to put it in the individual steps in series. Like this series right here is how to sculpt a head, and the next series will be how to retopologize, and so on and so forth. So this is how to sculpt a head in blender part one okay so let's go ahead and go to view properties here and because we're gonna be sculpting I don't wanna see any of this because it just takes away from the visuals I think so let's go ahead and delete the light and cube or actually just move it to layer two by pressing M and two okay so to make this head that we're gonna make we're going to start from this cube so let's go ahead and press tab to go into edit mode and what you want to do now is press W to subdivide right and after you do that you'll see this button down here in the editing tab here oh and by the way I'm using blender 2.492 for the sculpting and retopologizing and uh, basically everything right now because uh, there's a problem when I go to sculpt and there's something wrong with the symmetry in blender 2.5 alpha 2 at least with me there is and uh, it doesn't work uh, like I wanted to so I'm just gonna use this so you wanna press two sphere here and press ok make sure it's hundred percent and you'll see we get this here the shape here and this is what Jason Welsh calls a squircle and I saw this on a ZBrush tutorial for sculpting uh, heads how to start a nice head sculpt and he called this a squircle and it's a really uh, great place to start sculpting so we're just gonna use this Okay, so now you want to press uh, go over here and go into sculpt mode, and you'll see all this stuff here. I've done a sculpting tutorial, a ba very basic one. So if you need an introduction to sculpting, go ahead and check that out. Well, sculpting in Blender at least. So let's go ahead and go into sculpt here, and you want to press your grab tool. Now let me explain something really quick that uh, it would be a pain to have to keep uh, changing the size and everything. And if you're in draw, you have to change the size and the strength and the subtraction and if you have to keep pressing sub and doing that and change the size how you want and the strength every time you want to change it that's annoying so I'm going to show you a few shortcuts see where we are on time here okay we're good so let's go back to add so in order to access a few of these you can uh, use keyboard shortcuts like grab you press G and you see we go to grab smooth you press S P for pinch actually no P uh, if you press P it goes into the game engine so you don't want to do that uh, L for layer, F, uh, that's for something else, but most of these have keyboard shortcuts like that. So if we go into draw here, um, if you want to change the size of your brush, you press F, and you can see you can scale it up or scale it down, and down here you can see the size of the brush where it, where it is, and then here if you press Shift F, you can change the strength, and this is different. If you go out, you reduce the strength and if you go in you increase the strength so think of it as concentrating it like that the farther you are out the less strength you have the closer you are the more strength you have so 
Yeah. And uh, that's it for that portion. And for the the sub here, if you press uh, click and press add, you'll just be pushing around vertices outward. But if you want to push them inward, just hold shift and it automatically does sub for you. And what airbrush does is because uh, if we just hold here and we don't move, it won't move. Just the more that we uh, move around the vertices, they push. But if we turn on airbrush, it just automatically keeps going. But I don't really want airbrush. So let's just go ahead and... Okay. Just control Z until we get back to what we had originally. Let's go ahead and turn on X symmetry. You can turn that by pressing X as well. And let's go ahead and start sculpting. So what we're going to do now is going to bring down the jawline by bringing down this point here. And you're going to want to bring that down fairly long because um, it's going when we add uh, our multi-res here, uh, it will average it out and it won't be that long. So you want it to be just about there. Then we're going to bring this towards the center here. We're going to bring in the sides of the head here. We're bring this in over here and bring down the head here. I'm going to go ahead and square this off a little bit. I mean, I'll round it off. So I'll bring this down here. Bring in these tops of the, these edges here. Bring these back in. Maybe bring this down here. We're just going to get a basic head shape. Okay. Uh, that's good for this first part. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to go into multi-res, add multi-res, and we're going to add a level. And this is kind of like a, a subsurf, but it's uh, it's different because we can uh, affect all of the points. These are actual points here. So now what we're going to do, we're just going to keep refining this shape. Get more of a cranium shape here. We're going to uh, press F to bring up our size, bring the jaw down. Bring it out some, bring the forehead out, bring this jaw out a little bit, bring this in over here, bring out the forehead, bring it up the side. And you want to get as much as you can done in this um, first, in the as you add levels and then just keep adding levels. You don't want to just go all the way up and refine because you get weird. Uh, you get weird artifacts and things like that. And generally, when you sculpt in Blender, uh, when you're going for a normal sculpting, like you want to start with uh, a base mesh that you've already poly modeled with a few thousand uh, polygons, because uh, then you can add a lot more vertices. Like we can probably only add about three hundred thousand faces to this one, and before it starts getting too slow to animate and that's because I mean not uh, 300,000 and that's because we started from our a cube and you generally don't want to do that but because we're just using this as a base to retopologize it's okay now we're gonna add a level here and we're just gonna keep refining okay and we've only been using the grab tool so far which is very nice I want to bring this out some more here, like that. And you want to think a little bit about where things are going to be. Like the eyes are going to be right about here, forehead's going to be here, the nose is going to come out here, the mouth is going to be right about there, the jawline is going to go up here, the ear is going to be here. We're not going to sculpt the ear because we're not going to have enough uh, enough polygons to sculpt that. So we're just going to re retopologize it. We're just going to add a, the impression of an ear. You see, we're just uh, really refining. There's not much to say because you can see what I'm doing. Okay, add another level. And actually, let me go back. Uh, if you uh, accidentally like add a level and you don't want to be able to toggle anymore, you just press delete higher, and that will delete the higher levels, and that's the highest you can go. Okay, let me just refine this a little more. Okay, so let's go to File, Save As. I'm gonna go to my desktop my blender tutorials let's call this head oops got caps lock on head sculpting tutorial oops sorry okay actually let's go ahead and put caps on these okay so save 
Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. And be sure to watch the next one and we will continue refining the head. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.